got some fly shit on yeah. Keeping all black outfit on yeah. I already back Uh, I, I rebought the same microphone. Um, lately I've been having a little bit of audio issues. Uh, I think it's because I've been using this microphone for about a year and I've been through anything from snow to rain to every paintball event that I played uh, towards the end of the half last year. Um, but yeah, uh, there's been like a buzzing noise and then sometimes some clips would sound a little muffled. So uh, I'm just gonna switch the Microphones right now. A few moments later. So, uh, hopefully it sounds a little bit better. Uh, nothing really is too much wrong with this microphone, and it's uh, done me good so far, and that's why I bought another one. But like I said, there was like a buzzing, and sometimes some clips would be muffled, and I just wouldn't be able to use that clip. So, um, anyway. Welcome to the Design Docs. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, make sure you guys do. Tomorrow I leave for France for the first NXL Europe event. Uh, I said I was going to do a gear bag, camera bag video. So to start off, I'm going to do all my camera equipment and electronics that I carry in my backpack. So a lot of you guys have been asking me what equipment I've been using to film the vlogs, whether it's barrel cam footage or the, uh, the just the regular vlog footage. I'm literally going to post every single thing I use in the description below, um, from the microphone to the tripod to the drone to the GoPro. Um, everything is going to be links. So if you head down there, it'll be easier for you guys to figure out what I use and uh, it's what's been working for me so far. So without further ado, let's crack into it. That's scary. <laughs> breaking your headphones. Because, man, I'm trying to get to connect my iPod, or my iPad, and then tomorrow... Yeah, 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 yeah,
uh, landing pad. Um, let me reposition all this. <laughs> you saw um, for the most part will be going into this uh, meta bag that I got from oh, it's, yeah, yeah. maybe you got new headphones all right tomorrow listen I'll see you tomorrow Ron okay okay bye-bye Ron bye-bye like I was saying all of that camera equipment is gonna go into this uh, backpack by Meta Threads I think I showed you guys earlier in a vlog where Marky gave me this uh, but basically it has this compartment right here with tons of different pockets I'm talking like at least 10 to 15 pockets in the front laptop section but the biggest thing uh, and one of my favorite features is the, uh, whoop, whoop. come on, come on, get out of my way, dog. Uh, the biggest thing is the, uh, so the biggest thing is the, uh, modular compartments back here. As you can see, tons of space for all the camera equipment and whatnot. Most big name camera bags have this, but something that they don't have, and I think is the coolest feature on this bag. There's this front section with a zipper. It has a direct line. Boom. And now, all you have to do is grab whatever cord or whatever device you're trying to charge is charging cord. And on the, so you would plug in your iPhone cord here. And then, boom. See, juice for days. So when you're traveling in the airport, you'd be able to essentially have this on your back and uh, charge at all times because not all the time are outlets open at the airport if you guys travel frequently or you guys know that. So um, never have to worry about that with my power source. Something else that I'm gonna pack in my backpack as I travel to kill time are these. So these are magazines from inside the net. I would kind of call them more of like a coffee table type of magazine. Um, it's not a lot of reading, it's a lot of pictures. Um, Brad Baldwin from inside the net makes these. I finally was able to get my hands on uh, a few. So he's got every events from 2016, a few from 2017, and they're sick. They uh, they have full prints. So if you guys were interested in one of these, I'm gonna give you guys uh, the link below to uh, purchase them. The thing is, Brad does this all out of the love of the sport, and that's the biggest thing. It's a non-profit magazine. So he gets these printed on the highest quality. I mean, look at that. Look how gorgeous I look. Um, but yeah, he gets these printed on the uh, the highest quality paper that you can. So by doing that, he doesn't make any money off of the top of these. And uh, it's just to spread the love of the sport, someone who really likes paintball. So Brad and I are gonna be working together to be giving away 
one of these magazines, it's gonna be one of your choice. So whatever event you guys choose, he'll send it over to you. So to break it down, to enter the giveaway, follow me, follow Brad, then go to the photo of me, comment Dizon Doc sent me here, and then like the photo. So that's about it for my backpack and camera equipment. Now I'm gonna shoot it over to myself again uh, with my gear bag. Thanks, Pastor Ronnie. Uh, to my right of me is my gear bag, and to the left is uh, my giant pile of gear that I haven't packed yet. Um, so I'm just going to walk you guys through what I'm going to be bringing to the event um, as I grab stuff out of this pile. <laughs> okay, first thing, uh, my Virtue Goggles. Um, I have a mask bag here somewhere. There we go. Um, I have the gray bottoms and then the black, uh, black frames, and then my uh, Barga sticker. If you guys want more Barga stickers, uh, make sure you guys DM... Uh, David Barga, uh, Barga 10 for 10% off of a Barga sticker. Um, go ahead and do that right now and uh, he'll get you a Barga sticker. So, um, my Virtue Contour goggles goes in this nice little bag. I'll just put it right here. My uh, HK Freeline pants. Uh, within my HK pants is my HK uh, Blade Battle Swab. So, this will go here. Um, let's see what else we got. Got my Freak XL kit, has all my XL inserts, uh, TSA left this little inspection tag in here, but uh, yeah, let me just make sure I got all the inserts I need. Yeah, so just in case we have different sized paint, uh, I'm going to put this just uh, right on the side over here. So I got a hyper warm shirt, um, sometimes in the morning. And uh, when it's raining, it gets a little cold, so this kind of keeps the heat in uh, rather than cooling me down. So I carry this as well as that in there, as well as a hyper cool shirt, which would do the opposite, keep me cool in hot weather. There we go. Shout out to Nike for that. I have uh, my Nike Combat. Baseball tights, uh, I think they're made for baseball, but they have uh, these knee pads built in. Uh, Jordan Kohler, shout out to um, Jordan Kohler and Roy for uh, referring these to me. These are sweet, I actually found them on eBay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, these are my knee pads and tights built into one, so that's what I wear underneath my pants. Just for a backup, I bring these uh, HK knee pads. Um, just in case the terrain is really bad. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bring them with me because these knee pads are uh, pretty nice, but uh, these are great knee pads as well. Uh, my HK pod pack, uh, I got the strapped one. Um, I'm probably going to grab one of those strapless packs at the event, um, but this one works great for now. So I usually pop this one back here. Extra barrel, and uh, I usually have two barrels. Uh, one of them will have my GoPro mounts on it, and everyone's been asking me, let me get real close for this. Everybody's been asking me what GoPro mount I use for my barrel cam footage. So here's your answer. It's Inception Designs. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Inception Designs makes this. Uh, shout out to Simon. Um, so it just goes on there like this. Bam. Um, some people have been asking me why I have these two stripes on there. Uh, some people say that, is it for your GoPro mount? That's what I'm assuming. Um, I've actually just been putting two stripes on my barrel like this for quite some time. And anyone who's ever done it, after me, they copied me. <laughs> Not really, but for real. Like, I've been doing this for a while. Um, but it does double for where my GoPro mount goes. So it's kind of nice so it doesn't scratch the barrel up too much. But that's the reason why I have two barrels. I have this one and then I have the barrel that, uh, the Axel barrel. So I can just interchange between a barrel with the GoPro mount and then when we get to the tournament, I put my other barrel on. So I'm gonna put this this outside pouch. Um, so I have this uh, little case and has an extra tank rag in it. So I'm gonna just hide that there. Okay, I got a uh, Axe body spray. Um, takes me back to high school. <laughs> um, but it's just quick and easy on the go. Um, if for some reason I would have to rush from the field to the airport, I could just use this and essentially get somewhat of a shower. But uh, Houston Heat jersey. Um, we're going to get our event ones in France, but this is uh, one of the first ones made. And you guys have seen this one before. Shout out to my second mom. 
Amadi. So fold this guy up. That right there. Um, got a speaker to uh, jam some music with the team when I don't want to listen to headphones. But the, uh, the Russians really don't like uh, a lot of my music and some of the other guys, so I just keep my headphones in. But just in case, you know, I think the music taste on Houston Heat is just everywhere. Um, Arm pads, HK Army, pretty self-explanatory. Tools, 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 and screws and tools. I'm missing a few, so. There. Um, I have black and white hockey tape. Now, uh, some people like to tape their tanks. Um, some people like to uh, tape their barrels, <laughs> like me. But uh, just variety, switch it up. Um, you never know when you're gonna need some tape. Um, HK Army Houston Heat Headband. Wear that just like this. Uh, socks, uh, Nike, Nike socks. Let's see, um, I have uh, this one of a kind prototype headband from uh, when I was working with uh, OG back uh, last year. So um, if anybody wants it, I'm selling it. Um, there's only one of these made. It's like a turtle dove, like a Yeezy turtle dove colorway. With some black tails. Um, this was just a one-off that they did. So, if anybody wants this, DM me on Instagram, and I'll uh, I'll let it go to you. It's pretty sweet. I just can't wear it uh, because one, I have the sweet HK one, and two, uh, just sponsorship reasons. So, um, I'll save this for someone in this little pouch. Now to the good part. Um, my off-white edition knockoff Lux. That I have made. You guys have seen this before. Um, yeah, I'll just break this down right now. Got a Lux barrel sock on it. Got my. This is a Freak XL barrel. And then uh, I got a black Virtue Spire 3. And then I actually have to drain this tank. Uh, shout out to Aaron Tholey for uh, hooking me up with one of these uh, Ninja SL2 tanks. So uh, i got to get this rag off. I'll do that in a little bit. So the gun goes here. Side pouch. Loader. Sit on top here. Barrel. So I put the barrel, um, I don't have a gun case right now. So I put the barrel usually in my arm pad. Uh, grease, DLX grease, put that up front. I have uh, some Opti-free eye drops. Uh, I wear contacts, so these are just re-wetting drops. So if you have a GoPro, I just realized that I'm missing the back of my GoPro housing. So hopefully I'm not, um, I didn't lose it. But if you do have a GoPro, I would recommend getting one of these aluminum casings, uh, especially um, if you're gonna be using it for your barrel cam. Let's see if I can get this in focus. There we go. So yeah, if you're using one of these uh, aluminum housings, um, I broke in like a ton of the plastic housings for the GoPros, so you can get these on Amazon. I'll, uh, everything will be linked below. Extra lenses. I usually put them in a sock. They're a lot smaller than like a lens case, so. Um, set that up front. A microfiber, like an extra one. Put that up front as well. Uh, Fedorov, I have your cleats. So, shout out to Fedorov cleats, I don't know. Uh, just a black beanie. That's what I wear when I play. Try to switch it up with different beanies, um, but I'm gonna wear that one. And then, yeah. cleats. Nike cleats. And 
have this cleat bag that the Nike cleats came with so they don't get too dirty. And uh, that should be it. Oh, and uh, a visor because if it rains, which apparently it's going to be raining out there, um, this will help just keep the rain out of the top section of the goggles. So, visor, uh, tennis ball to work out some knots. Um, it's a smaller than a foam roller and it does the same job. And uh, I also bring this uh, tiger tail type thing. Uh, you could roll out your muscles with it. Uh, that's pretty much it. So that pretty much does it. Uh, my gear bag, my camera bag are packed. The only thing that's left is my clothes bag, which you guys don't need to see. Um, but I do want to mention some of the supplements and uh, snacks that I'm going to be bringing on the trip to help me get through it. So I'll see you guys over there. Yo, what's up? So uh, shout out to First Form, David Mullis. Thank you so much for getting me some stuff before I leave for France. I got a shaker here, uh, some BCAAs to help with recovery. Uh, I got some First Form Formula One protein. Uh, it's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavor. This one's delicious. This one's one of my favorites. I have some greens. I didn't realize it was kids greens. Uh, but so, you know, you're traveling all the time. You never know what you're eating. So anyway, you can get some micronutrients in. I don't think this would hurt. Um, so I'm gonna mix, be mixing these uh, greens with the protein shake. So I got this, uh, this pill container filled with all my drugs. Um, it's vitamin C, multivitamins, fish oils, calcium, just some essential stuff to keep me uh, running smooth. And then something that I invested in were a uh, whole bunch of protein bars. Um, these are the one protein bars. Uh, they're really good. Like, honestly, I've had a lot of protein bars that were dry and that sucked, but the flavors of these, like, this one's like blueberry cobbler. Um, this one's like chocolate chip cookie dough. And then uh, I also got a, <laughs> I got another box. But uh, essentially this are just gonna be some snacks. <laughs> and they have enough for eating uh, two a day. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna relax, finish packing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on my way to France.